Hey everybody, Nerdy Transformed here again, and today I'm reviewing something from my childhood. The Power Ranger Zeo Super Zeo Megazord. Now, I don't know a lot about Power Ranger Zeo, I didn't really watch that season. The main season I watched as a kid was Wild Force and Mighty Morphin and a few other things after Wild Force. But I do know, um, <clears throat> they had this weird obsession with, like, geometry shapes. This was the second series we got here, although if you count Season 2 and 3 of Mighty Morphin, this is actually the fourth series we got, since is, those did have different Megazords and were balanced along with the other series. But this is the second Megazord from the Zeo series. The first one I think is a bit cooler and has more of a kind of ancient Egyptian look to it. This one, like I said, is kind of more of a geometry shape thing going on. Now, it does have five components here. We do have the red star, the green square, the blue triangle, pink circle, and the yellow... I'm not sure which one to call those. Um, ovals? Yellow ovals? And they're all pretty decently sized, you know, for a size comparison, here, he's next to, here they are next to Titan's Return Scourge, and you can see they're a bit taller than Titan's Return Deluxe. About a head taller than Titan's Return Deluxe. And they're all varying quality, I, I would say at best. I do know the Super Zero Megazord could combine with, like, say, Pyramidus. Well, not really combine, more just sit inside of Pyramidus while it was in its uh, attack mo in battle mode. They didn't come with any accessories. There are two swords that came with that are meant for the Megazord form, but individually they don't really have any weapons. So let's start with the Red Star. You see, does all these are going to be a bit damaged? I mean, these are the ones, the exact ones from my childhood. I don't have replacement stickers for them. A lot of them do have paint wear, so just warning you now, they're going to be a little messed up looking. But you can see, you got like a each of them have like a visor with the same shape. He has this big star visor with a really tall head because his head becomes part of the star. You can actually see a little mouth molded in right under the visor, so it kind of almost looks like the power ranger controls this. And yeah, just kind of so they're all they all have the idea of silver and black with whatever color they are mixed in. So here we have red, of course, with kind of more of an orange on the stickers. But he has the most articulation on all of them, probably, as his head can swivel, although it is off-center due to how it transforms. Uh, the arms do fully rotate, and they do go outward, which is pretty impressive for a Power Rangers toy. The legs do go forward, but they don't really stay forward, but they do go back plenty, and he does have knees due to transformation, so... He does have some decent articulation, just wishes like to actually do something going forward. But, you know, you could get him, like, in a stepping pose, I guess. Not bad, and listen to those really nice ratchets. No ratchets, uh, bleaker ratchets appear at least, but really good ratchets in those knees. So yeah, pretty nice little figure. Next we'll do the blue triangle guy here, and nothing in the head at all. The arms do rotate, but they get, the head gets that chest plate. The legs pretty much have the same thing as the red guy, although they can go forward slightly, and he does have the knee. Go back, and they do get a full knee there, so... Since he does have that, his legs do work a bit better, because you could actually get him somewhat stepping forward. But, not really much you can do with that. And, as, and there is one problem, as he doesn't really hold together. He does have a clip here, that's supposed to hold his body together, but doesn't really quite hold tightly. It might just be from age, though. And his arms don't really go outward, but he does look pretty cool. I do like how he looks with this kind of scrawny... I don't know, it kind of reminds me of, like, the really smart, nerdy guy of the group, you know? Which I guess is kind of fitting, since Billy was the Blue Ranger. I'm not sure if he was still the Blue Ranger this season. Next, we have Green, who's the big, bulky one. Kind of reminds me of the Hulk. I mean, big, bulky, and green. He is missing some stickers, and his are slightly out of alignment here. Uh, does have a big, green, big, squat rectangle for his visor. Some silver on the head, which is pretty nice, and Blue had that as well. Little, tiny mouth underneath. And he's just a big, blocky dude of blockiness. He looks pretty cool, actually, in a way. He does have some odd feet, though. And it's really hollow due to how he transforms. They just look really weird with this weird circular bit in them. But we'll get to why those are there later. He does have some articulation as the arms do fully rotate. And um, using the transformation hinge, they do go outward. The legs go from side to side. And he does have sideways knees, so you could... He has the same legs as, like, Backstop from Transformers Cybertron, so you could get him doing, like, a sumo kind of crouchy thing. Which kind of works for him. I can see him being a sumo with his big size and all that. Nice green stickers on the legs, and most of the stickers have colors seem to be going on the legs, just to kind of help spread that color around, I guess. 
But yeah, I do think he's pretty cool. I kind of always imagine him just doing like a full on belly flop on his enemies. Let's send to the side then. Next we have the yellow or gold I guess you might say, yellow. Who has this weird double visor due to her having two shapes. And yeah, this is the female ranger so to her. And of course the Megazord head is part of her. Uh, this does clip off and you could just set to the side for her. I kind of always thought of it like kind of like her having a hoodie. You know, just a little hood sticking out and you know, you can see how that's going to go. Uh, articulation wise, she does have a full rotation and due to transformation to it, she, her arm can go outward, much like with green. The legs do rotate and she does have knees, but they don't go forward at all. They only go inward and there's nowhere for them to go in this current position. So fortunately all that is meant for the combined mode. But I do like her look. I do kind of like this really circular kind of look she has going. Not sure why. I mean, I guess you could... Oops. Not yet. I guess you could have the legs apart, but then you're going to have this kind of split body thing going on. And yeah, that's up to you if you like that or not. And, yeah, and green just topple over red. Good job, green. I really could use some heel spurs on green over there. He really does not stand well. He doesn't have... Others all have this nice wide feet. Green doesn't have that. He has really hollow feet. And, uh, oh, and green just split in half. Oh, hold on. You, you do you, green. You do you. You can just sit back there. And finally, we have pink. Who is, of course, the pink ranger sword. And nothing really special about her. Just kind of has the same kind of circular thing going for her as yellow did, but more of a big spear kind of thing going on. Or sphere. Sorry, not spear. That'd be a lot more interesting. But not bad looking. Uh, do get full articulation at the arms. Um, legs do kind of go outward and you do have these two joints to kind of work with. If you want to do that. I mean you could give her the whole sumo thing too. If you want to do that. Or horse riding. There we go. She's going to go horse riding. But yeah. I want to do artic some articulation at the arms. That's kind of expected from the Power Rangers toys. But yeah, she doesn't look bad. Nice oval visor, you know, even though it's not a circle, which I guess we'll go for a new space line. A little bit of silver on the head, just like the others. I think the most interesting head sculpt out of these guys is probably green. I think green's got the coolest head sculpt. This looks really nice. Oh, his head just has this wide platform around him. It looks like he's wearing, like, body armor or something. I don't know, like I said, I think green's the most interesting out of these guys. Uh, red's probably the most fun to mess around with with all the leg articulation he has. So yeah, they're pretty cool individually. So let's get to their Megazord mode. You're going to start with pink. Go ahead and grab her and just split her in half. Take the arms. They do kind of collapse in like that. Then the legs with this weird double joint they have. You're just going to work it till the bottom of the foot lines up with the inner part of the chest. And there you have a foot. For the other side, you're going to take the clips that were holding her body together. Just flip them out of the way. Take the head, flip it in. And it's the same process as before. Collapse the arm. Use the double joints to kind of collapse the foot in. And there you have the robot feet. Next is green. Take his arms. Bring him back on the joint. Pull out his head. And his pant the, the top of his chest will flip into two panels. Head will flip into that one. The other panel will flip out of the way as well. Go ahead and split him. Take his legs, use those weird sideways joints he has to kind of collapse and to rotate this piece out. Do the same with the other one. Then you're going to take the pink and the green. Pink's kind of rounded. Green has this like round clip kind of piece. And you're just going to bring them together and his hand will kind of go into... Green's hand will go into pink's uh, leg kind of. To kind of show you how they line up. So you're just going to kind of clip it over just past this dent right here. Like so. Doesn't really matter where exactly clips and it still holds on pretty well. But if you want to get it kind of lined up nicely. Yeah. So yeah, there we have the legs. Or the bottom part of the legs. Then we'll take blue, fold his arms back. Take his legs, fold them up over the arms. Then you're going to split his body and flip it all the way up like so. Take his head, flip it in, turn it upside down, and here we have the upper part of the legs. Just line it up with this. It'll slide right in. It doesn't really click in place, but it's a really good friction hold. And there you have the bottom half of the Megazord. 
Then you're going to take Red, who is not the top of the Megazord, he's not the main centerpiece for whites in these kind of combinations. Take his arms, collapse them in, take his legs, you're going to fold them all the way back and then clip against his back like so. Then finally take his head and rotate it around. You can see there's that star shape, it's really worn away on the top on his head there. But there is a small clip right behind Blue's head there, there's a little clip piece right there. Just going to line it up. There we go. And we will move the camera up so you can see this better. Finally we're going to take Yellow. Go ahead and split her body completely. Come to the top, rotate the arms back. And you're going to use these hinge to put, have them pointing downward. Take your feet, bring them down, rotate them around, and the shins of her feet are actually a clip button that you press. Oh, um, oh, um, it's a little stuck. This brings them kind of worn down. There we go. The pop out the fist for the, to, for the Megazord mode. Bring it down, rotate around, press the button on the back. There we go, fist. Then you're going to take the little hoodie, flip it up, and the crest, you're going to bring it up to reveal the face. Then you're gonna come up here, and what you're gonna start with, you're gonna take Yellow's arms, and there's these big holes in Red's feet. They'll just slide right in. Then there's these two clips right here behind Red's head that line up on Yellow. Clip it all together. And there we have the Super Zeo Megazord in all of its glory. Sorry about that. Had to get a higher place for my stand so you can actually get to see more of the Megazord here. But there we go, here's a full body shot of, well mostly full body shot of the Megazord. One thing I don't really like about the look is that Pink's little orbs kind of get stuck to the side. So the only thing you see from Pink from the front are the tiny little parts on their arms, while the rest have their jewel, the kind of jeweled look on the front. But I think it's, it's certainly an interesting looking Megazord. It's definitely a beefy looking one. Uh, the main details are just the ones from the robots just using the jewels, but definitely very thick and bulky legs look here, and the arms are just the right size. It's a very well-proportioned Megazord. And just to give you an idea of size, let's get them back here. Yeah, their Scourge doesn't even reach the middle. So yeah, very tall Megazord. I really like this head sculpt. It's a very nice looking head. Very much a me very much Power Rangers Megazord style, but it's just very cool looking, very... I don't know. It's kind of that same look that a lot of the secondary Megazords, the more powerful Zords that came later, kind of had. Uh, just a very powerful look to it. And I like the Darth Vader helmet kind of has going on here. I will say, if you do buy this figure, missing pieces, look out for the swords. Look out for the helmet itself, and even if it has the helmet. Oh, well, I almost lost the helmet there. That's a really strong clip. Look out on the helmet, because the crest can come off, which does make the helmet look a little odd with this big gap in the middle. So yeah, even if it has a helmet, make sure it has the crest as well. Yeah, let me just clip that. Also, you don't have to have it clipped in, it does sit on her head just fine like that, but there's nothing really holding on there, so really the only thing that's actually holding it on there is the clip back here. It does fit right over the star there too, so that's pretty nice. It kind of locks in place. And of course, as I mentioned, it does have these accessories. Uh, uh, please ignore some of the dirt on them because I've tried to clean them. I have. I do like right in the middle that we actually have all five of the shapes kind of going in a circle. We have the triangle, square, circle, and ovals going around the circle and the star right in the middle. And then we have the five shapes going along the blade of the sword as well. Of course, not really bladed, it's not really flat, it's like flat in the middle, but wider on the outside so that way kids won't stab themselves back in the 90s. Also, one of mine is a little chewed up, you know, four year old me didn't really much give a crap about, you know, chew how chewed up my toys were, so. But, you know, I've had, this is when the only Megazords I've actually kept, this is the only Megazord from my childhood I've actually kept all the pieces too, so. But yeah, he looks pretty cool with the swords, and he does have really good articulation to sh use those swords with. His arms do fully rotate, as you expect from Megazord, but he actually does have outward movement due to transformation. And due to all that tra how the transformation works, he does also have swivels. And this is something that they just add just because they actually give him elbow articulation. 
the other pe the other parts of education you can at least chop up to being you know oh coincidence to transformation. But this they actually added in the shoulder swivel and the elbow they actually put in manually. So that's pretty nice of them, Bandai. That's that actually gives them Megazord that we can actually use these swords with. He's not my favorite looking Megazord. I do think the other Zeo Megazord looks a little bit better. And other Megazords from the early 90s look a lot better, but he definitely has some really nice articulation for any Megazord. Don't think we got anything this good until Wild Force, really. Even then, they still don't have outward shoulders. Oh, and the camera is not wanting to stay up. Here, let's try to fix that. There we go. But yeah, he's a really cool Megazord. He kind of has a samurai aesthetic kind of going for him now. And the legs actually do have a little bit of articulation as there's some wiggle room. So you could have his legs slightly more widespread like that. You're really having to push all the joints to do that, but you could do that if you want a bit more widespread, which does give him a much more kind of a powerful appearance. But yeah, I think he's a really cool Megazord. I really like his articulation. I really like the articulation works well with his swords here. And I think he's got at least a decent look. I thought about selling him at one point, but honestly, messing around with him for this review, I actually really like him. He's a lot of fun. He looks really cool in robot mode. I would just say be careful with the accessories. Check the paint because this paint does chip off very easily since it's a nice glossy paint. You see mine's pretty messed up, especially on the little star piece here. I'll probably have to redo it myself. And yeah, there is going to be some plastic rubbing. As you can see, there's like a little brown dot on the yellow gold right there. But yeah, I think he's a really interesting figure. Probably my least favorite out of the 90s Megazords, but still really fun to mess around with. So, this has been Nuri Transformed. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you have a good day. Take care.